Announced as part of the Future Air Dominance at Sea FADS program, the Type 83 is the first major naval program to fully integrate the new British Strategic Doctrine published a few days ago. Type 83 which the Royal Navy wants to see replace the current Type 45 destroyers from 2035 onwards, will host key weapons, sensors and command and control functionality, and the Type 83, as an automated, digitally piloted vessel equipped with AI systems for autonomous fire management. This raises the question, is the Type 83 program an excessive, even demagogic, ambition, driven by an excessive belief in technological promise? Or does it, on the contrary, represent the first realistic and necessary realization of a defense model rethought on the scale of a world facing unprecedented challenges? This is going to be a very different platform from Type 45, for this ship is not only intended to replace the current Type 45s, it is designed to embody, in its very form, a major shift in the way the United Kingdom thinks about and organizes its military power. The UK Royal Navy has outlined its ambitions for the Maritime Integrated Air and Missile Defense and Strike My AMDS capability and associated Type 83 destroyer host platform plan for delivery under the future Air Dominance System FADS program. Designed to deliver Maritime Integrated Air and Missile Defense and long-range precision strike capabilities into the fleet from the mid-2030s, FADS is characterized as an interoperable, multi-domain system of systems underpinned by themes of sense, decide, affect, connect and enable. Type 83, which the Royal Navy wants to see replace the current Type 45 destroyers from 2035 onwards, will host key weapons, sensors and command and control functionality, although the disaggregation of FADS components means that additional platforms may host MIMDS capability within the overall system architecture. Another key component of FADS is Advanced Force Threat Evaluation and Weapon Assignment to a functionality enabled by Artificial Intelligence Machine Learning. Using advanced networking technology to link individual ship combat systems, Tua Logic is intended to decide the optimum use of sensors, decision-making, and effectors across the disaggregated force so as to defeat complex multi-threat, multi-axis attacks. The Royal Navy's future Type 83 destroyer still exists only in blueprints. Neither its silhouette, nor its propulsion, nor even its final name have been finalized. Yet, it is already attracting a rare amount of attention. For this ship is not only intended to replace the current Type 45s, it is designed to embody, in its very form, a major shift in the way the United Kingdom thinks about and organizes its military power. Early characteristics for Type 83, early concept development studies for Type 83, as the core host for FADS, have framed a minimally crude complex warship of between 145 meters and 165 meters in length, and displacing between 6,000 tons and 10,000 tons. While Commodore Wood did not discuss ship numbers, industry sources have suggested a class of at least six vessels replacing the Type 45 destroyers on for one and an aspiration for eight. Key characteristics included in an illustrative concept design shown at CNE 2025 include, multiple MK-41 vertical launch silos for an outload of between 72 and 128 IAMD and long-range strike effectors with provisions to fit two advanced payload modules for future hypersonic missiles in lieu of MK-41 modules, a 57mm medium-caliber gun for maritime interdiction, counter FIAC and self-defense against surface and air threats, and integrated mast hosting multiband, multi-mode sense capabilities fixed. Face active electronically scanned array radar, radar band, and communication band electronic support measures and electro-optical infrared sensors, directed energy weapons for counter UAS defense, trainable launchers for soft kill decoys, and open architecture app-based combat management system enabling rapid updates and embodying AI ML based to a functionality, force-wide connectivity via the StrikeNet resilient mesh network. High levels of platform automation to drive down crew size and a power management and propulsion system able to support high levels of dynamic demand from high power radars and directed energy weapons. While the FADS program is still at a relatively early stage, the Royal Navy ambitious timeline means UK industry is already scoping candidate Type 83 platform solutions. BAE Systems has shown a global air warfare command ship concept that evolves from the Type 26 frigate and global combat ship derivatives for Australia and Canada, while Babcock is studying an enlarged Type 31 derivative known as Arrowhead 160. Announced as part of the Future Air Dominance at Sea FADS program, the Type 83 is the first major naval program to fully integrate the new British Strategic Doctrine published a few days ago. 
A doctrine distinguished by a formula as striking as it is ambitious, mass through technology. A formula that doesn't simply pit technology against human resources, but aims to multiply platforms, sensors, and effectors, without increasing formats or budgetary burdens. This approach, radical compared to the Western logic of the last 50 years, nevertheless seems to stem from a lucid observation, armies will no longer be able to reconstitute mass by traditional means. The British choice is therefore not to circumvent this difficulty, but to embrace it. And the Type 83, as an automated, digitally piloted vessel equipped with AI systems for autonomous fire management, must be the demonstration. This is going to be a very different platform from Type 45, said Commodore Wood. We are not building Type 46 we are moving into the digital age, we're moving into the electric propulsion age, we're moving into the laser weapon RF directed energy weapons age. Electronic attack will be important, and we're going to rely very heavily on automation and lean crewing. But such an ambition raises many questions. Recent failures in other navies, the limitations observed in crew reductions, and the human, technical, and doctrinal constraints linked to delegating decision-making to digital technology, remind us that this gamble remains risky. And that it is reaching a critical threshold, that of delegating lethal force, previously considered a strictly human attribute. Alongside Type 83 as the core host platform, the FADS program is also exploring options for an uncrewed surface vessel the Type 91 arsenal ship that could accompany the destroyer to provide increased magazine depth. Commodore would acknowledge that Type 91 is, at this stage, still in the pre-concept phase and so relatively immature. But if you can imagine, we can balance the high-end exquisite complex platform with uncrewed mass to provide even more effectors across the force, and that gives us resilience and depth. This raises the question, is the Type 83 program an excessive, even demagogic, ambition, driven by an excessive belief in technological promise? Or does it, on the contrary, represent the first realistic and necessary realization of a defense model rethought on the scale of a world facing unprecedented challenges?